Good morning and welcome to Tiempo. I'm Anna Carbonell. And I'm Miguel Perez. And on today's show, we'll be talking to Mario Vargas Llosa, one of the best known Latin American writers. And he will be talking about his new play, La Señorita from Tacna, which will be opening at the Intar Theater here on West 42nd Street. I've read the play. It's wonderful. And we're all looking forward to seeing it. We're also going to have with us today Petra Barrero del Rio, who is an art expert with the, uh, from Puerto Rico with the Metropolitan Museum of Art to tell us a little bit about the Vatican Art Collection. And after that, we'll be talking to some filmmakers who will be telling us all about a new his, uh, Hispanic film festival being sponsored by El Museo del Barrio, and it's starting this week. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Tiempo. Of course. Latin America has never been short of literary figures. But in the last few years, in the United States, there has been a boom in recognition of Latin American writers. Mario Vargas Llosa is a name that always comes up when America, Latin American literary figures are being discussed. And his books, his essays, have made him an international figure. Throughout the world, he's recognized as one of the world's greatest writers. And we're delighted, we're honored to have him on our show today. Welcome to Tiempo. Thank you. Uh, you have made a transition now from novels to a play. That's uh, right. The reason why you're in New York is because one of your plays uh, is starting at the Intar Theater here in New York on May 18th. And uh, I just want to ask you, how, how, does, how you've made a transition, how, how is it changing from novels to plays? Uh, has it been difficult? Yes, it, it is. I think it's quite difficult because the techniques are completely different. Uh, probably you are much more free when you write a novel uh, there is no uh, limits for a story in the in the novel uh, on the other hand in a play well you must respect uh, time and, and space limitations but at the same time i think it's very uh, tempting to write a story uh, that can be uh, personified by by living beings mm -hmm. and that's a very rewarding for a, for a writer. No? The name of the play is La Señorita from Tacna. From Tacna. Tacna. Tacna, yeah. And it, could you give us a quick synopsis of the play? What is it about? Uh, well, I think there are many subjects in this, in this play. It's, uh, uh, in a way, it's about an old woman who uh, remembers the, the story of, of herself, of her family, and of her um, society, no? a society that is already uh, extinct, dead at that time. And it's also about the storytelling, because this is a woman who has been telling stories to the children of the family during 80 or 90 years, because she's a very old, old woman. And I think through the, through the play you can see how the stories are built, no? with memories and with inventions, with fantasies and with dreams. Well, I read, I read, uh, I must say I didn't finish <laughs> the play because I just got it a couple of days ago, but I've read most of it. And uh, in the introduction, you explained that you've had an obsession with the how fiction is created. That's right. And in this play, you are able to show for the first yeah. time, really, uh, because you have, I think you split the stage, and I'm dying to see the show now, but I, from what I understand, you split the stage into two, and on one side, you have a writer creating fiction, and on the other side, you have fiction evolving as he is creating it. Is that, am I correct? That's it, absolutely, yes. Yes, the play is uh, the story of a writer who tries to write a story out of his memories of her gra great-grandmother, and in his story, the great-grandmother tells stories to different children. And so the, the story of this woman is built through these different kind of stories. No? Is it autobiographical? In a, in a, well, in, a, in, in part, in part, because uh, the uh, first idea of this play that I had was uh, a memory of a, a very old woman in my family who used to tell us stories when we were children, when, when we were very young. And I remember this woman in his last years, when she was completely cut of contemporary life, secluded in her memories, some of the memories of her childhood. No? And it was uh, very moving because it was as uh, watch the imaginary 
living in a, in a human being. No? And that was the idea for the play, but the rest of the play is invention, of course. Well, the play has been done in Spanish in Latin America. Yes. And you've seen it performed. Yes, that's right. How does it feel? You've been writing all these novels. How does it feel for your words to be to come to life on the stage. How does, when, how does for an author feel when he sees this happen, especially for the first time? From what I understand, this is not your first play, though. You no, no, I, I wrote a play when I was, well, when I was very, very young, but uh, I think this is my first serious play. Well, I was very impressed when I, I saw for the first time La Señorita de Tacna in, in Buenos Aires. Uh, uh, I recognized, and at the same time, I had the impression that this was something different that I had wrote, no? Uh, the reason is probably that an author never uh, can uh, materialize you know, uh, his characters. Uh, I, in my case, at, at least, the characters are always very diffuse, very vague. You know? And in a, in a play, uh, everything becomes so concrete. And, uh, but it's very, very impressive. But when you're writing the play, you can't be as specific as you can when you're writing a novel, you can't go into as much detail, as much as description as, as you can. You have to be, it's almost like doing a, an interview here like we're doing on television, which we have a limited time to get the whole story in, as opposed to, uh, you've been a journalist, as opposed to yes. writing an article for a newspaper, an interview for a newspaper from, uh, in which you can stretch out and spend several hours talking and then decipher what it is that you want to say in this article. Is that the difference? Uh, is that more or less a One, one of the differences, yes, you must be much more specific specific, of course, and you must be much more synthetic no, and concrete. On the other hand, I think when you write a play, you must be modest. You must accept that what you are writing is just a, a fragment or, or just a part of something that, can, that uh, should exist only with the participation of a uh, director, of actors, of uh, uh, artistic designer, because a play is a, well, it's a, a, a collective art, no? Mm -hmm. uh, you, are, you must be much more modest than when you write a novel or when you write a poem. <laughs> you and a few other Latin American writers have received a great deal of recognition in the United <laughs> States during the last few years, especially because all these novels are being translated into English now. How do you feel about that? What, how, are you impressed by the fact that Americans are finally opening their, uh, their eyes to Latin American literature? Is it about time? How do you feel? About I think that is very good for Latin America. Uh, it's, it's very good that uh, uh, people in the United States or in Europe discover that Latin America can produce no? uh, cultural important things. And on the other hand, I think there is some uh, justice in this because we in Latin America uh, have uh, been for many, many years reading and admiring and even uh, learning a lot of, of American novelists and American writers. No? I think. Uh, the lost generation, for instance, has had an enormous influence in our writing. No? Many of these Latin American writers have been, of the 20th century, have been identified with uh, the left a little bit, uh, Castro and Nicaragua and all that, but I think that you have managed to remain at least neutral or perhaps a little bit leaning toward the other side. Uh, yeah. From what I understand, you've been disappointed. You were. Um, sympathizer of the Castro government in the original and in the first few years, but then later you've, you've changed your mind. Yes, I am I'm much more critical now of the uh, Cuban revolution and the, uh, on the left, but that doesn't mean that I am in favor of any kind of dictatorship, no, right-wing dictatorship. On the contrary, I am absolutely opposite to any kind of dictatorship, but that's the reason why I am, I am critical of the Cuban revolution. No? I am delighted again that you had this opportunity to stop by and say hello to us and um, I will read all your books from now on. I am a fan and uh, I, again I will go and see the play because I, I think it's fantastic uh, the, the seeing the writer and the play, what he's thinking evolving on the other side of the stage. I thought it was a fantastic idea and again good luck. Pleasure meeting thank you. Thank you very much. Anna? Thank you for your kind words. Thanks Miguel. Next, Spanish art tours.